Hello everyone, this is Rick with Buddy Punch. For those that are utilizing our scheduling feature, you may be wondering how to repeat an employee's schedule. Of course, along with how to edit and delete those repeating shifts. This video is going to walk you through those processes. From our dashboard right here, we're gonna to head to our scheduling area. I'm gonna click on schedule at the top, then view schedule. As you see from our screen right here, we've got a lot of people that already have a schedule right now, but we want to add a new schedule here for William. How do we do that? Well, let's just click anywhere in the open spaces next to his name. This opens up the creation window where, in this case, William is already selected. You see that right here, but please note, you can click on this drop down box and select a different employee if you wish. But we're just going to stick with Bill here and create a new schedule. Now, once you go through here, in this case, you'll set them up from eight until five. You do have some options down here where it says repeats. You can actually click on the drop down box right here to select the frequency. Weekly, on the third Monday of the month only, every weekday, or you can click on custom where you can choose the frequency there. Or if I click on weekly right here, you can choose specific days of the week. In this example, let's do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. And we'll have this schedule go out for a couple of months. Now right below that, you can even select the location or department code that he needs to work in, or both if that applies. And of course, I can also put a note right here in the schedule at the bottom. When I'm done, I simply click down here, Add Shift, and you will see them appear here in white. This is telling you that they are not published yet. To do that, simply head up here to the upper right corner. We're going to click on Publish, where it gives me an option here. I can notify William by email of his new schedule, push notification, both or neither. In this case, let's go ahead and publish with no notifications. And when we do, you will see that it turns from white to blue, telling you that it is all set. But oh no, I goofed that up because he actually asked for Tuesdays and Thursdays, not Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I need to edit this one. So how can we do this? Let's start by clicking on any one that William is scheduled for. Now when I do this, you will see that I can edit some of the information here. But notice right here, if I hover over this little question mark next to the repeats every week series, it tells you that if you need to edit the series, it needs to be deleted and re-added as a brand new repeating series. So we'll actually go to the bottom. We're going to click on delete and it's going to ask us, do I just want to delete this shift or this one and all following shifts? Well, that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to delete it and re-enter a new one. So we click delete. And just like that, Bill's schedule is clear. But now we need to go back and do this process again to add Tuesdays and Thursdays. So let's go back in here. We select weekly and we will do Tuesdays and Thursdays. We will click add shift. And we now see that it's ready to be published on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We will publish these two shifts just like we did before. And just like that, you're done. So with just a few steps, you can create a repeating shift, edit that shift, or easily delete it and create a new one all through our scheduling function. And that's all for this video on adding, editing, and deleting a repeating shift. Thanks very much for joining us and have a great day.